everybody back to Multiplex Movie Melee, the Platinum Ticket Tournament 2024. I am your host, Payson, the Cinemaster Johnson. Joining me as the co-host is Dylan Vicious Van Thine. We have another exciting match tonight as we have the number six seed, Jordan Pierce Owens, against the number seven seed, Jacoby the Barbarian Bancroft. Dylan, how are you feeling about tonight's match? Feeling very good about it. Yeah, it should be uh, should be a really good one. Uh, both of these guys uh, did some very impressive stuff last year. Jacoby returned last year and uh, had a good, went on a good streak later in the year, uh, winning against Andrew Just and also being the MVP in the uh, record reset that we had, bringing his record back to 500. Very impressive stuff. And JPO also just had like a fantastic year last year, just taking out some really, really strong contenders. Uh, and yeah, I think it should be a good match. Yeah, uh, Jacoby's obviously been around way longer than uh, than uh, Jordan, but Jordan definitely made, made his name last season. But all these players are in the same uh, are, are in the same view. They want that vacated belt uh, uh, that was vacated by Boatman when, when he did leave him. God bless his soul, uh, dearly missed. But uh, we are going to be moving on to pre-match interviews, starting with our first competitor, the number seven seed, Jacoby the Barbarian Bancroft, joined by his manager Scott the Esquire uh, Harvey. Uh, Jacoby, when I was watching, uh, not necessarily like when I was watching as a fan, not even when I was playing, you were one of my favorite competitors to watch because you just had that attitude. Uh, you went off to another place, yeah. you became a celebrity, and now you came back and uh, gracious us all with their presence. How oh, are you God. feeling about coming tonight? Oh, You're a celebrity? Oh God! Yeah, that's always fun to mention. Uh, no, I'm but I'm excited. I just because at the at the at the core of it all, no matter where I played at, I just love playing, and I like and I like having a good time while playing, whether I do well or I do horrible. Um, either way, it's just fun to play, and it's fun to play with people. And I'm very excited to play Jordan. I'm very happy. Uh, Scott's here in my corner. Scott, any any motivational words to uh to inspire me to to greater I'm excited. Heights? <laughs> I'm excited for Jacoby. Uh, you know, he's been around a long time playing. I think he's earned the right to be in the, you know, the running here for this title match. Um, and, and yeah, he, he absolutely deserves it. And uh, Jordan is, you know, he's a good opponent. Uh, we faced him in teams last year and uh, we had a pretty close match. Honestly, we were kind of lucky that we won that one. But um I think Jacoby's experience is it's what's going to take him over the top today. Jordan had a good season last year, but I think Jacoby um, is going to going to come out on top. Yeah, it's inspired. It makes me sound so old. <laughs> like, oh, he's been around <laughs> forever. He's always here, just here. But no, I'm excited. Let's... I don't notice the gray hairs. It's okay. <laughs> there we go. Uh, Jacoby, it's always a pleasure to have you. And Scott, you like Kelly Reichardt, so you're cool. Uh, we're going to be moving on to our uh, second interview of the night. That being uh, your competitor tonight, Jordan Pierce Owens. Uh, Jordan, you had a successful rookie season last year. Uh, you're you're here back uh, in the Platinum Ticket Tournament. How are you feeling coming in tonight? Uh, feeling just well. Looking forward to it. I know it's going to be a good match, but uh, here to hopefully impress us again this year and um, move up even farther. So, uh, hey, hey, don't look over there. Hey, hey Jacoby. Oh, sorry. You look right here, boy. You look right here. Right, right. Well, I, can, I look at myself on the stream yard and not really in the can. Like, I always, I never know where to, but yes, okay. I'm uh, jealous reminder. of your beard consistency. It's very nice. Damn it. Thank you. I would agree with that. A reminder to competitors Jordan is the only competitor in both Melee and Fandom who has threatened to eat another competitor. But with that, we will be heading into round one. Uh, round one is going to work like this. Competitors will get eight questions from eight different categories worth one point apiece. They will have 15 seconds to write their answers on their board. And if they get all eight questions right, they will receive a bonus question. Competitors will have three repeats and one challenge throughout the duration of the match. Competitors, any questions before we head into round number one? Do you uh, eat them like, whole, like whole, two challenges? Like on the, how, I don't know where you start the eating at, but like, uh, like wouldn't you like question. to know? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. We'll be coming to you in the category of musicals. <laughs> in Chicago, 2002, Velma Kelly, as played by Catherine Zeta Jones, is accused of killing two people that are what relation to her? We need semi specific answers. What's your favorite crime, Dylan? Ooh, I'm a big fan of jaywalking. There we go. Yep. Yes. I was gonna say, oh, don't don't name crimes. And I was like, oh wait, that's not the question I just asked. <laughs> Here's a safe answer. Five, four, three, two, one. Jacoby, we will go to you. Twin sister and husband. We will go to Jordan. Uh, same thing. I didn't specify twin, but yeah, her sister and husband. We're gonna pause. 
sister and husband is correct. Both that are starting out with one point apiece. Uh, Dylan, hit him with their next question. Sure thing. Your next question will come in the category of recent releases. Who plays Eddie, a man tasked by his drug lord father to find the missing cocaine in Cocaine Bear? So uh, kind of dating the match, but the Oscar nominations will be announced tomorrow morning. Uh, how many Oscar nominations do you think this movie will pick up, Dylan? Oh, like, I don't think any other film will get nominated. I think this will just fill up all the categories somehow. It will set a record, the first movie to ever win 25 Oscars, even mm -hmm. though there are 23 categories. Five, <laughs> four, three. And two, the honorary awards. One. <laughs> that is correct. Uh, Jordan, we'll go to you. Alden never tried to spell his last name Eindreich. And Jacoby? I think I spelled it the same way, so I think we should be good. Uh, Alden Ehrenreich. We did. We did. Right yeah. wrong. <laughs> Alden Ehrenreich is correct. Uh, your third question will be coming to you in the category of the 1970s. How many Rocky films were released in the 1970s? What were you doing back in the 70s, Dylan? Oh, man, I was moving units. Oh yeah, yeah. I was uh, I was driving boats, yeah. driving boats all throughout the coast of Florida. Yeah, hauling crab. Nice. Yep. Deadliest catch. My units. I meant cocaine, by the way. Oh, there we go. There we go. Five. Just in four, case there's any doubt. Three, two, one. Jacoby, we will go to you. Oh, I only said one. And we will go to Jordan. I said two. Two is Dang, correct. It was. Uh, yes. Yes. So Jordan will strike for there. Kogan knowledge helps. Yep. Hmm. So your next question will come in the category of horror. What 1960 British horror film was remade by John Carpenter in 1995? The British, right? Yeah. Fucking learn how to drive. They fucking go on the God. <laughs> Joe Farrelly is going to give me an angry message. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one. Pens down, pens down. Jordan, yep. Uh, we were going to go to Jordan first. I have no idea. I said body bags. And we will go to Jacoby. I said Village of the Damned. Village of the Damned is correct. Awesome. Jacoby tying the game up. As we move into the fifth question of the match in the category of directors. Who directed 1987's Overboard, The Other Sister, and Runaway Bride? There's nothing more fun about when there's multiple versions of a movie. you got to really specify the year. There's no challenges tonight. I mean, maybe there will be a challenge, but not on this question. <laughs> Five, four, three, two... One, Jacoby, we will go to you. I said Gary Marshall. Even though I don't think it's so Jordan? I didn't have it. Uh, Jacoby, very unsure of himself, even though he gave the correct answer. Hey, Jordan, look at that. Correct. <laughs> I, was, I felt like it was, it was a runaway bride, I thought so. Huh. So your next question will come in the category of romantic comedies. In Notting Hill, Hugh Grant's character owns what type of specialty bookstore? Have you seen this movie, Dylan? No. It is so damn charming. Like, I would highly recommend it. Uh, the best friend of Hugh Grant's character, maybe the greatest best friend in romantic comedy history. That's all oh, I was nice. Yeah. Shout out to him. Five, 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 four, three. Can't you ask that instead? What? Uh, no, Jordan, we were going to go to you. First editions? Uh, and we will go to Jacoby. I said a travel book bookstore. Travel book, travel book store, bookstore is correct. <laughs> so we're moving on to your pen ultimate question in round one. Uh, the Henry mystery thriller. In the 2022 film, See How They Run, Adrian Brody's character is killed in what type of location? We will take a general answer. God, this movie, I saw it. Um... How do you run? Hmm? How do you run? Like, do you, you have a good run? Yes. I haven't ran in a while, though. <laughs> I mean, I've your been face. So your, inactive recently. Your Facebook profile shows off how toned your calves are. So we would all assume that you, you can run very, very well. 
Are my cats even visible in that photo? Maybe they are, but I've heard the rumors that cats are very toned for Markman Shop yet. Five, four, three. How would he know? I have no idea. One, and it's now, Jacoby, we will go to you. I erased it. Let's see if I was anywhere close. I said hotel room. We will go to Jordan. Theater. Theater is ah, correct. Dang it. In the backstage of a theater, but theater. I, that's what I erased specifically backstage at a theater. And I was like, because <laughs> yeah, yeah. the props. All right. So, your final question in round number one will come in the category of scores and soundtracks. Dang it. Who composed the score for Fargo? Oh, it should be an easy one. Now, if you've never seen Notting Hill, I've never seen this movie. I don't believe you. <laughs> Not for yeah. one second. <laughs> for half a second, actually, I will say for half yeah. a second. I was like, wait. I was Hold like, on, wait. What? <laughs> that would be incredible if I was five, four, three, two, one, heads down. I've actually only seen it once. Uh, Jordan, we're going to go to you. As a biz marquee. Uh, we will go to Jacob. Thomas Newman's a composer, isn't he? Both incorrect. We're looking for Carter Burwell. Carter Burwell. Uh, but yeah, so uh, Dylan, if I'm not mistaken, that brings uh, the score to five to four, Jacoby. That is what I have, yep. All right, but anything can happen as we go into round number two, also known as our wheel round. Headers will get uh, will get a spin out the wheel. Uh, whatever category they land on, they will get questions in that category. Five questions worth two points apiece. They check on the multiple choice, you get one point. But be on the lookout because steals are in round two. If a competitor gets uh, doesn't like the category they first spin, they have the opportunity to spin again, but they must stick with whatever they spin on uh, for that second spin. Your categories on your lovely wheel tonight are 2010's comedies, which are Jordan's strength, uh, fandom creature features, which are Jacoby's strength, as well as classics, horror, actors and actresses, recent releases, Oscars, and music. Jacoby, you are in the lead. Would you like to go first or defer? We will bring in your manager. Ah, uh, yes. Hi. Um... <laughs> One point lead. Uh, I think we can probably go ahead and defer. This wheel doesn't scare scare me too bad. Yeah, let's defer. All right. Thanks, Scott. I agree. <laughs> then, uh, Jordan, this will be your first spin. Yes, indeed. You land on the category of recent releases. Would you like to keep it or spin again? Uh, you know what? I'll keep that. All right. Uh, in which case, uh, Dylan, why don't you hit J uh, Jordan with his questions in the category of recent releases? Sure thing. All right. So your first question, Jordan, in the category of recent releases. What is Damian Anderson's boxing nickname in Creed 3? Multiple choice. All right. Your options are A, Diamond, B, Diesel, C, don't blink, or D, danger? Diamond. That is correct for one point. Love the option of don't blink. That was actually really true. That'd be a cool one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's That's a, I, I knew it wasn't that, but I like it. Yeah. <laughs> Your next question. Somaris is the name of the main character's home planet in what 2023 film? Mm, multiple choice it up. All right. Your options are A, Strange World, B, Lightyear, C, Dungeons and Dragons, Honor Among Thieves, or D, 65. I'll say 65. Yeah, remember that? Everyone remember that movie? 65. Oh, yeah, correct. <laughs> Boring as shit. <laughs> Your next question. Who directed The Creator? <laughs> That's kind of what I thought the Samaras question was asking. <laughs> um, <laughs> multiple choice. All right. Your options are A, J.A. Bayona, B, Gareth Edwards, C, Joseph Kaczynski, or D, David F. Sandberg. C, Kaczynski? Uh, that is incorrect. Uh, Jacoby, for the one-point steal, is it A, J.A. Bayona, B, Gareth Edwards, C, Joseph Kaczynski, or D, David F. Sandberg? Gareth Edwards. That is correct for the one-point steal. Right. 
your penultimate question in this category. What state is Nelly from in Babylon? Multiple choice, please. All right. Your options are A, Massachusetts, B, New York, C, New Jersey, or D, Georgia? New Jersey. That is correct for one point. And your final question in this category. How does Podrake's pet donkey, Jenny, die in the Banshees of Inisharan? We'll By eating handle. the fingers. Yes, that is correct. I think. We yeah, good. That? Two point final. Is that how she sure. throws yeah, up? Yeah, we'll throws accept up? that. Yeah. I'm going to accept that, yeah. yeah. If we had choking or choking on a finger, but it Oh, um, true, yeah. Okay, sorry. Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. I will accept that. Okay, I don't see any challenges coming through. So with that, I have Jordan getting a score up to nine, and Jacoby with a steal getting a score up to six. Is that what you have, Dylan? That is what I have, yep. All right, then uh, we are going to bring in Scott for Jacoby's spin. All right, big money. No whammies, no whammies, no whammies. No whammies. <laughs> big bucks. That's not a whammy. Well, that's not a whammy. Well, I, I, I have was, Jacoby, yes. I don't really know what's in this category, so um, do you know these not, movies? Yeah, I mean, I picked this as a strength with the intention yeah. of you know, finishing this category, and I have not yet. I was just like, what are the chances? Um, but no, I yeah, so yeah, this is yeah, we're my only strength. Down by, I have to take it. <laughs> we're only down by three points, and yeah. the category probably hasn't been played that often, so you might get some easy questions off the top here. Fingers um, crossed. I don't want literally anything else on this wheel besides his strength. So uh, let's go with this one. I should be more excited when I spin my own strengths. But so, yes, <laughs> I want my own strength. Just use I multiple want that. if you need to. Yeah. Yes. All right. Uh, sticking with fandom creature features, Jacoby, I will be giving you your questions in the category of fandom creature features. Your first question. What is the name of the chimpanzee whose escape pod gets lost in a storm Near the beginning of the film in 2001's Planet of the Apes. Ooh, there's a few of these. Um, I'm going to go multiple choice, please. Your multiple choice options. Is it A, Socrates, B, Plato, C, Aristotle, or D, Heracles? Heracles. That is correct, and what a shit box of a movie, if I do say so. Much. <laughs> Awful film. Awful. Your second question in the category of fandom creature features. In Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Mutant Mayhem, what type of location is Superfly and his crew of villains' hideouts? Oh, it's the one turtle movie I've watched so far. Yes, it's a bowling alley. That is incorrect. What? Jordan. For a two-point steal. Uh, an arcade. That is also incorrect. The answer we have is ship or a boat. What? Can I? Can I just hear the question again? Is that okay? Is it... In Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles: Mutant Mayhem, what type of location is Superfly and his crew of villains hideout? Yeah, I want to. I want to challenge that because. I'm pretty sure it's a bowling alley. Okay, uh, we will be right back right after this challenge. Is that a challenge? We are back from that challenge, a worthy one, but unfortunately from what we found, while the villains do visit a bowling alley during while it's closed and kind of like ransack it, uh, do some things that uh, your normal hooligans would do when uh, a certain location is closed, it's not technically their hideout, which what the ship was. We also looked at that. And the ship is where they keep all their technology. That's literally where they live. So we, uh, me and Dylan both agree that, that, uh, that there is no real other definition for what their hideout would be aside from the ship. So Jacoby uh, will be losing his challenge. But we will be moving on to his third question in the category of creature features for his uh, seven to nine. Jordan, Jacoby, your third question. What company is set to sponsor the Indominus Rex in Jurassic World? Verizon Wireless. 
That is correct for two points. We got a tie game. Uh, your pen ultimate question in the category of creature features. Who plays Kelly Ann Bukowski, the woman that Sean begins to date in Jaws 3D? Oh, it's... Uh... Isn't that... Yeah, it is, right? Five. Sure. Uh, Elizabeth Shue. Three. That is incorrect, Jordan. A chance for a two-point steal. I'll hear the question again. Repeat. Okay, that is going to be your first repeat. Who plays Kelly Ann Bukowski, the woman that Sean begins to date in Jaws 3D? That was a bad repeat. Uh... <laughs> By Olympia Dukakis. Uh, that is also incorrect. Jacoby was on the right track with Back to the Future, but we were looking for Leah Thompson. Right. Uh, hey, you can always get those two. Right. Always, always so confident. The <laughs> final question in the category of preacher features. Who composed the score for 2014's Godzilla? Scores and soundtrack question. Um... Who did do that score? Five, four, three, two. Multiple choice, please. All right, your multiple choice options. Is it A, Klaus Bedelt, B, Alexander Desplat, C, Steve Jablonski, or D, Michael Giacchino? Five. I'll repeat the options, please. All right, for repeat of the options, is it A, Klaus Bedelt, B, Alexander Desplat, C, Steve Jablonski, or D, Michael Giacchino? I'll go with A. That is incorrect. Jordan, a chance for a one-point steal. Is it A, Klaus Bedelt, B, Alexander Desplat, C, Steve Jablonski, or D, Michael Giacchino? Say B, Desplat. That is correct for the one point. Mm. So with that, nice. I have George getting his lead up to 10, but Jacoby able to keep it close at 9. Is that what you have, Dylan? Yep, that's what I got. Sounds good, but anything can happen as we go into round number 3, also known as our Pick Your Poison round. The competitors drafted categories back and forth uh, before the match, and they will now draft categories again to decide what questions they will be taking for their 1, 2, 3, and 4 pointers. The competitors that the competitors chose before the match were romantic comedies, horror, action adventure, sci-fi fantasy, mystery thrillers, animated, recent releases, and comedy. Your competitors will be choosing their categories right now. All right, your competitors have chosen their categories. Joe's, Jordan chose the categories of comedy, romantic comedies, horror, mystery thriller, and Jacoby chose the categories of recent releases, action adventure, sci-fi fantasy, and animated. Because Jacoby is behind, we will be going to him first. Jacoby, what category would you like for your one pointer? Cool. And I don't bring in Scott for these, right? I, I do. Uh, so we'll communicate through the private chat. Okay. So the private chat. Oh, animated first for a one pointer. Yeah. All right. And because I read your uh, questions in round two, Dylan will be taking your questions in round three. Yep. So your question in the category of animated Who voices Rasputin in Anastasia? Christopher Lloyd. That is correct for one point. We got a tie game. <laughs> uh, so the game is tied, but Jordan does have more questions. So we'll be going to your, you, Jordan, for your one pointer. What would you like for your one point uh, category? Let me ask the manager. Yeah. Okay. Uh, mystery mm -hmm. thriller. Your one pointer in the category of mystery thriller. Who plays the. T Let me start over. Who plays defense attorney Martin Vale in Primal Fear? Richard Gere. That is correct for one point. All right. So we're going to be going back to Jacoby for his two-pointer. Jacoby, what would you like for your two-point question? 
Um, I think probably sci-fi. Oh yeah, he says sci-fi too. Sci-fi, sci-fi fantasy. All right, your question in sci-fi slash fantasy. In what 80s fantasy film will you find Robin Hood, King Agamemnon, and Napoleon Bonaparte? Five, four, three. I'm going to go Time Bandits. That's correct for two points. Two I mean, it was like Bill and Ted, maybe? Are, those, are they all in there? Well, I was leaving, actually, yeah. yeah. <laughs> for game, please, we, we will be going back to Jordan. Jordan, what category would you like for your two-point question? Horror. 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 Okay. Not sure how I feel about the way you pronounced that, but we will go to your two-pointer. <laughs> your two-pointer. Who plays Childs in 1982's The Thing? Keith David. That is correct for two points. Yeah. All right, so we will be moving back to Jacoby for his three-pointer. Jacoby, what category would you like for your three-point question? Take action adventure, please. All right. All right, so your three-point question in action slash adventure. And I have three repeat. I have, did I use a repeat? I don't think I did. Just to the uh, options, right? Yeah, I think uh, I did. did. No, Sorry. no. Yeah. No, you, you did not use a repeat, no. Cool, okay. Just just check him. Sorry to interrupt your flow, Dylan. Okay. So your question. Sean Astin and Will Wheaton star as students at a prep school that is taken over by South American drug lords in what action film? Five, four, three, two. Repeat. All right, that is your first repeat. Your question again. Sean Astin and Will Wheaton star as students at a prep school Stop. that is taken over by South American drug lords in what action film? Oh, wow. Hmm. I don't know. I should save it. I don't think I'm going to pull this. Hmm, Sean Astin and Will Wheaton star. Five, four, okay. Uh, no, school ties. It's unfortunately incorrect. We are looking for toy soldiers. Oh, that's what that movie's about. Okay. Um, All right, so here's the situation we are in. One more category left. If he hits it, we do move on to Jordan to answer some more questions. If he misses it, Jordan does the game. Dylan, mm -hmm. Jacoby with this final question. Yep. So your four-point question in the category of recent releases. Okay. In Bottoms, besides Fuck. vandalizing his house, what do the Fight Club members do to get revenge on Jeff for cheating on Isabel? Dang it. Have not seen this. This was my 2023 watch list. I had three movies left, and this is on one of them. Um... Let's think. Five, four, three, two. Repeat. That is your second repeat. Mm -hmm. In Bottoms, besides vandalizing his house, what do the Fight Club members do to get revenge on Jeff for cheating on Isabel? All right. I just have to do some logic guessing here. What would be a thing? Four, three. Last repeat. All right. That is your last repeat. In Bottoms, besides vandalizing his house, what do the Fight Club members do to get revenge on Jeff for cheating on Isabel? Good game, Jordan. Um... I'm all I just vandalize his car. Can we accept that? Did it say specific? So I am going to accept that. <laughs> for 
big point. Yeah. To be clear to Jordan, if he doesn't want to challenge, the answer we had was blow up his car. Uh, challenge. He said vandalize. <laughs> we'll be right back after this challenge. Is that a challenge? We are back from that challenge. Uh, regardless of whether it was a serious challenge or not, when a competitor does say challenge, we do have to I'll never that. tell. Uh, what we looked up, we literally looked up the definition of vandalize. And uh, Dylan, why do you hit the audience with the definition of vandalize? It? vandalizing real quick. I closed the tab, Payson. Well, shit. Uh, the uh, <laughs> the uh, just of it was uh, the act... Oh, go ahead, Dylan. Action involving deliberate destruction of or damage to public or private property. If that is not blowing up, then I don't know what is. We are going to be giving Jacoby the points. Jordan does unfortunately yeah. lose the challenge. This has been an incredible game. Uh, so that does mean we are going to be moving on to Jordan for his three or four pointer. Jordan, uh, to tie the game, what would you like for your three pointer between uh, between your remaining categories? Oh man, um... <laughs> let's let's go comedy. All right, your three pointer in the category of comedy. In 1978's Heaven Can Wait, Joe, as played by Warren Beatty plays what instrument that he carries with him, even into his new body? Trumpet? That is incorrect. We were playing uh, clarinet. Oh. So it all comes down to this. Jordan has one more question in the category of romantic comedies. If he misses it, Jacoby wins the game. But if he hits it, Jordan wins the game. Jordan, you have two repeats left your four-pointer in the category of romantic comedies. In what 80s romantic comedy will you find a company called Trask Industries? Oh, no. Trask. Five, four, three, two, repeat. One, that is your second repeat. In what 80s romantic comedy will you find a company called Trask Industries? Now I get to say a good game, Jacoby. <laughs> <laughs> um, Five, Trask. four, three. Uh, repeat. That is your final repeat. <laughs> In what 80s romantic comedy Will you find a company called Trask Industries? I'm going to say big. And your winner, Jacoby the Barbarian Bancroft. We were looking for Working Girl. Working Girl. Oh, yeah. no right hand. Phenomenal game by both players. Uh, we are going to be moving on to post-match interviews, starting with our unfortunate second-place finisher, uh, Jordan. This was a close game throughout. There were so many back and forth going on throughout the game. Uh, maybe recent releases. I, I know you took it, but maybe they just weren't the questions you wanted. And then just Jacoby had the pull of the of the early year so far in, with that bottoms pull. Uh, how are you feeling with that loss? <laughs> Uh, no, I mean, I still feel good. I'm always happy to at least, you know, not dominate by any means. We we drag it back and forth to the very end. You know, I mean, I had the lead a couple different times. He had a great pull. He wasn't sure, but very smart to use those extensions to just think about it logically. Sometimes the logic answer it really is the right answer. And, uh, yeah, no, I'm happy to at least go the distance, if you will. And, uh, yeah, you know, I'll always try to do better next time. But, no, I appreciate being here. Thank you for having me. Love that attitude, Jordan. Uh, but when you do come back, is there anyone in specific that you do want to play? Um, there's a there's a laundry list here, but you know, again, like the cliche answer. I'm definitely happy to play whoever you know, whoever played. I like to go run the gamut here. You know, people that are just as good or not better than me. Because that's how you get better is by playing better people. Love that attitude, Jordan. Uh, thanks. It's always a pleasure to have you. But we will good be games, moving- Kobe. Absolutely, but we will be moving on to the uh to the interview with the winner. Tonight, uh, Jacoby, 
Well, like I said, that was a close game, and yeah. I don't even know how you were feeling with that uh, with that poll. It truly feel like you had no idea. And as a watcher, as a host, those are some of the some, those are some of the most fun moments to have. How are you as as a spectator? How uh, how are you feeling tonight with that? One? Oh my god, yeah, I I did what I do best in multiplex and get extremely lucky. <laughs> like that is what like I was erasing my board. I threw that out there because I was just like, I, it was a logical. Just, okay, they vandalized the house. I imagine if they're at a house, right. then like what else? Where else would they go? <laughs> like maybe he has a prize car. I was like, did they steal his pet? Does he have a pet? I don't know. Um, no, but that this was I thought. Yeah, this is what I'm saying. You know, Jacoby and even Payson praised him for it at the start of the match. Like Jacoby, people notice that he has like a positive attitude in these matches. Well, it literally got him to the right answer here because I think many other people, myself included, when you heard the question, you'd never seen the movie, would have just given up. But Jacoby was like, no, I'm going to work through it. Like he said, I'm going to logic it out. And he he did exactly that and was able to to get there. You know, some will say, it was a crazy guess, and it probably was, but it was also an educated guess, I think. Yeah, I thought I was sunk earlier on. Like again, like like the with like the bullion, I thought I was sunk, and then I always mix up um, um, Elizabeth Shue and uh, and and Leah I was Thompson. Leah, Leah Thompson. Thompson. Yeah. I don't know why I can never get those two straight in my head, no matter what. So it's like I thought like that's it, game over, like right there. So I'm just happy, but I loved playing Jordan too, and I, I think Jordan has such a positive presence as well, and he's a lot of fun to play. And I'm just I'm I'm happy things went my way today, and I thank Scott and I thank you guys. Well, uh, those, guesses, those guesses from Jacoby did give us maybe the greatest moment in fandom history. Hashtag Bruce Wayne, Thomas Wayne, and Martha Wayne. But that does mean, Jacoby, that you will be moving on uh, to uh, the uh, round two in the uh, Platinum Tournament. Uh, you are now one match away from a title match, and you will be playing the winner of Tony Durso, the number three seed, or Zachary Shelton, the number 10 seed. Of those two competitors, who would you most like to meet in the second round? Oh, I don't think I've played. Did I play Tony in a team at some point? No, I don't think I've played either of them at, at any point. If I have, either. then I'm sorry if I don't remember that. But if I, you know, but if so, either one. I love I love the challenge. New people. That's great. And I didn't know I didn't know how many rounds this platinum tournament was. So that's exciting as well. Yeah. Look, so, uh, look, yeah, it's basically a number one contender match that he has next. So like, I mean, we'll we'll ha we'll happily play whoever for that opportunity. Let's do it. But yeah, I'm excited. Absolutely love that attitude. Thank you, Jacoby, and thank you, Scott. Uh, great win tonight. Uh, Dylan, uh, before we head out, final thoughts on the match? Yeah, fantastic match, right down to the wire. Uh, it's really cool. I, th I thought uh, I, I thought Jacoby might have been uh, done after round two, uh, but he was still within striking distance. And, yeah, I mean, it's always a bad sign when you read out in blank movie yeah. and then the competitor goes, oh, shit, for a four-pointer. <laughs> It usually looks pretty bad from there, uh, but he was able to, uh, you know, logically get himself to the answer and pull out the win. Uh, very, very clutch performance from him today. And yeah, uh, Jordan played great as well. I mean, yeah, it's both of Jacoby's like preferred categories came up in round two and he was still able to like get the victory going into round three, which I think shows just how good he is as a player as well. So good match all around. Yeah, great performance by both players. Uh, congratulations to Jacoby on getting the victory. But uh, from Jacoby, from uh, Jordan, from Scott, uh, from everyone here at Multiplex Movie Melee, I'm pacing the Cinemaster Johnson. That is Dylan Vicious Van Thine. Have a great night. Goodbye. Storm in the castle. Think it'll work? Right? Bye. -bye.